Hello everyone, um, welcome to another episode. Today the question that we are going to cover was asked in Palante interview question. So this is a company that recently went IPO like three to four months back and they are hiring like crazy. And one of my friends had an interview with Palante and he was asked a basic maths question. Um, so today I'm going to take a stab at it and I'm going to share the approach that is pretty intuitive but we miss it many times so let's move on to the question basically you are given a fraction let's say 4 by 13 and you need to represent it in an Egyptian fractional format now back in Egyptian time they basically had this where they wanted numerators to be always one so now our task is that given an input 4 by 13 I need to express it in terms of sum of fractions in a way that I always have one in numerator and denominator could be of any value and we are also given a point or a hint you can say in the question that numerator is always going to be less than the denominator so before jumping on to the coding part uh, let's look at uh, the approach so let's start with what we know so we are given a number 4 by 13 right and we need to get one on numerator so simply i can write this in this format as well right 13 by 14 like basically this is equivalent to this part 1 upon 13 by 4 now we know that 13 13 is not divisible by 4 so basically what happens is this if we take in terms of integers what happens is um, this is going to give us something like I think 4 by 13 is 4 3 is a 12 or 1 3.25 something like that right uh, yeah you can do the calculation but uh, that's not the point that I'm trying to make here so basically we get something in terms of decimal that is another fraction so it's not a whole number so what we do here is I basically take 4 which is integer right so that is part and some plus some some fraction because it's 1 by 4 because this I take at 3.25 and if I do a, if I round it to the next integer I get 4 right this should be 4 if I round it to the next integer so I get 1 by 4 but there is some leftover fraction which I need to account for so how do we do that so now when I represent 4 by 13 as this I basically can do uh, 4 by 13 now I know I have 1 by 4 in its uh, integral part right so I can just sorry my bad I can simply subtract it and I get 3 by 52 so this is the leftover part because I know 1 by 4 is already in my fractional part now how do I move forward from here we do the same approach this could be written as 52 by 3 right and then again it's not divisible so we get something around 17 point something right so basically we can write this as 3 by 52 and we get 1 on the numerator divided by 18 right because I'm just again I'm doing a round off to the next integer so I get 18 here and I subtract it so the leftover will basically be 1 4 6 8 you can do the maths it's basically will be something like if I do 52 into 18 and here it will be 18 threes are uh, 54 minus 52 so we get 2 by 936 which is again equal to 1468 right so these are our answers so basically this is how we approach the problem right now let's look at the code in C++ and how can we do this so I'm gonna create a new REPL for this
okay so i'm gonna take numerator and denominator as my inputs and i'm assuming that as per the question uh, numerator is gonna be less than denominator so now i can do void print fractions and i pass numerator comma right and then i can do i am trying to run a recursive function here so if um if num equals equals one now i'm gonna see out num I'm gonna return because that will be my base condition that my last leftover num is one now if it isn't I'm gonna first check if denominator modulus num equals equals zero if it's the case um, I need to calculate a new denominator new fraction new num and new if this is the case uh, like how we did 13 by 4 right we know it's gonna be uh, not completely divisible if it is it if it's completely divisible we know the new denominator is basically denominator divided by numerator and we call the print function else our new de denominator will be denominator divided by numerator plus 1 right that's gonna be our answer and then uh, we got our this uh, new denominator and we just gonna print it here uh, new numerator which is gonna be one slash and then new denominator and we are gonna send the difference right um, which is three let's say in our case it should be one uh, four by 13 minus one by four we need to do this calculation so this calculation can be easily done in terms of code you can see let's say if i take it as n1 d1 n2 d2 so this calculation will come out to be n1 d2 minus n2 d1 right divided by d1 d2 right so this is gonna be a number n1 d2 yeah. so a new fraction n3 let's say if i'm just for simplicity purpose i'm gonna say n n1 is this d1 is like this n2 is one and d2 is new denominator and n d n3 will be um, n1 d2 n2 d1 and then d2 minus n2 d1 and d3 will be d1 star d2 right and what if what if they have some greatest common uh, integer that's greater than one so we still need to keep on dividing it until we get uh prime factors right so how we are gonna do here is i think c plus plus has um, gcd c plus plus code i can get a i can copy the gcd function gcd a comma b okay so i can use this gcd of n3 comma d3 now greater than one my n3 value will be Once that's done, I can call this print fractions on the new N3 and D3. 
right and my input here will be 4 and 13 let's run this code mm. Okay, uh, nothing was printed here. Oops, I didn't call the function. Print fraction. So one by four, one by eighteen, one by four, sixteen. Awesome. I hope this uh, problem was easy to understand and if you guys like this video please uh, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Thanks everyone.